KSPW Weather with meteorologist Art Jarrett. Well, good morning to you. Taking you right out to SkyCam 8, Santa Cruz, the beach boardwalk, looking pretty nice out there. A little bit of patchy fog. You can see the winds picking up a little bit, 5 to 15 miles per hour out in the bay. We have temperatures mostly in the 40s now, from the mid to low 40s, getting into 50 degrees for Salinas and 51 for Big Sur. Now, a little bit of patchy fog is picking up. You can see along some of the beaches there, getting from Watsonville all the way into Marina, down into Monterey, picking up by PG as well. And we can also see it coming in from the south, working in all the way from Bradley, getting into King City and then into Soledad. So clouds will increase as far as fog is concerned. We'll see a few high clouds moving in. So we'll call it mostly sunny to clear to partly cloudy skies. Eventually in the late afternoon as some of this rainfall, this nice little band works into the Bay Area and it gets closer to the Santa Cruz Mountains by the time we get into the evening hours. We'll see winds backing off a little bit and we'll see them come in from the northwest, guiding in more cloud cover all the way down through San Benito County as well as Monterey County and the southern portions for uh, the overnight hours getting into the early morning and rainfall. There you go, light to uh, light rainfall moving into the Santa Cruz Mountains. That'll go through the morning commute in that first half of it and then eventually we'll just get rid of all that rainfall and we'll get back into some sunshine with a little bit of breezy conditions going into Thursday and then into uh, backing off a little bit for Friday as high pressure builds back in and we warm. We're expecting a few hundreds of an inch out of this over the next 32 hours. Some of these locations, a lot of this could be possible fog working into the forecast as well. Now from Thursday getting into Friday, you can see this is Thursday at four o'clock in the afternoon. By the time we get in the evening, even high pressure builds back in and that makes Friday possibly our warmest day of the week. We're going to see this continue to knock our temperatures into the 80s, possibly for some of our warmer locations. And then by Saturday, we look to the northwest with more of that cloud cover and of course a chance for uh, some rainfall up in the northern portion of the area comes in. We'll go breezy. It'll cool us down with some cold air funneling down in from the north and eventually cooler even on Sunday. So if you're heading on out across the state today, you're going to see most temperatures from the beaches getting into the 60s, 70s, 70s and 80s, 90s for you. If you're going to Southern California, we'll get into 51 for Lake Tahoe if you're going to do some skiing up there. Mostly sunny skies for the better part of the day. Then we'll increase them into the late afternoon, evening hours, low 60s to the low 70s today from the beaches, mountains, all the way into the interior valleys. You'll see some nice looking numbers, mild conditions yet again for you and just uh, a degree or two below seasonal averages, but we'll pick it up for you. Tonight, we'll go 44 to 52 in the overnight hours, looking for a chance of in the Santa Cruz Mountains and then west winds 5 to 15 miles per hour. And if we go into your eight day forecast. This is what I'm going to take you to. Eventually, we're going to try to warm you up ever so slightly and gradually through Thursday, Friday. We uh, kind of spike the temperatures up to 80 degrees and then it'll be a mild weekend for you.